Do you recall a couple of videos back where I did a Timu haul and I bought a bunch of sunscreens that were questionable, that were like three, four dollars, two dollars, yes, even a dollar. <laughs> And then I was wondering why in the world did I purchase these? I'm looking for budget sunscreens, but how can I trust them? So I made an entire video about how do we know if we can trust sunscreens? Well, I've been testing those sunscreens out. I threw everything out the door. <laughs> I did not patch test. I stuck them. I stuck them. I slapped them on my face. Oh, you might find the results humorous. Edward, Bella, I found the perfect sunscreen for you. Although I did find one sunscreen out of the bunch that I actually enjoyed. Which one is it? You'll find out. Hi, I'm Sean, Melanoma Mom. Join me in my mission to prevent skin cancer by subscribing to this channel. Thank you so much. Here we go. SPF 50. Oh, it's pretty thick. Two. It's like a grayish white color. It's pretty, it's thick. There is a scent, mind you, my nose is clogged up, so. Okay, oh, I'm gonna have to work this in. In small sections, I can already tell. That's, that's like toothpaste. <laughs> Why is it look like toothpaste? No, this is like guaranteed white cast. Oh no. This definitely would not work for someone of color, for anyone darker. It doesn't even work for me, look at that. It's not rubbing in either. It's not like, oh, it's just staying white. I could have sworn all these said no white cast. Lies. That's as good as it's gonna rub in. See, look, look. It's so white. Yeah, I'm not going out like this. I'll be back in 10, 15 minutes. 1990 called and it wants its sunscreen back. Edward, Bella, I found the perfect sunscreen for you. Halloween 2023! If you're going as a dead person or a zombie. I woke up this morning and I wanted to go for the unalive look. Mission accomplished. But seriously, it's been 10 minutes. It dried down really nicely, really nicely. It felt, you can tell it's formed a film. It's not coming off of my fingers. Just feels like slightly tacky, but not bad. Um, it's definitely a natural finish. It's not matte. It's not glowy. I'm not going out of the house like this, I'm sorry. I mean, I guess I could put sunscreen. I'll, I'll put foundation on top and see. And I'll check back in in two hours. It is so rainy and cold today. <laughs> it's like drizzling and it's cold. Okay, let's talk. I feel like definitely more texture than I normally have with this sunscreen. Kind of looks a little matte and a little dry here. I would not recommend for dry skin. My foundation did co cover up the white cast, but it was pretty bad. But as you can see, two hours later, I've got a lot of texture on my face, which I do not enjoy at all. New sunscreen. <laughs> this is the yellow hat sunscreen. Hopefully it won't be thick and pasty like that other one. Oh, my cat scratched my finger really bad. So I don't want to put sunscreen on that one. So I'm going to do something awkward and use these two fingers. One, two, hmm. Slight scent, like a citrusy, like a, like a sweet lemon maybe, or a, you know. <laughs> okay, this looks like it's going to rub in. Much better. Much better than the last one. It feels good on the skin. It feels like a moisturizer. It's supposed to be really cold today. It looks like it's already in the 30s. <laughs> we had such warm weather last week. Oh yeah, this rubbed in nice. Okay. Ooh. No white cast. It is. This is matte. I'm excited about this one. It doesn't feel matte. It doesn't feel drying. It feels moisturizing. But it's definitely gave a matte finish. Not even a natural. All right, I'm gonna finish putting this down my neck 
and I'll be back in 10, 15 minutes to see if it sets down, which I can already tell. It's already starting to sit down. Wow, this sat down very fast. <laughs> it has only been five minutes and this sat down. As you can see, it's matte. Now, shiny is because I use the Biosponsor on my eyes because it's fragrance free and mineral and my eyes are sensitive to fragrance, which this has. I, I like the fragrance though. <laughs> <laughs> the rest of my skin isn't sensitive to fragrance. Yeah, I really like this matte. I think I'm gonna love this in warmer weather too when it gets humid here in South Carolina. Yes. All right, I'm gonna put makeup on and I'll check back with you in two hours and we'll see how it does. I'm very surprised, pleasantly surprised with this one. Okay, <laughs> this is my daughter. If you haven't met her, this is Finley. <laughs> um, we are in front of the Target and I wanted to give an update. It's a two hour update on the sunscreen. I love it. Surprisingly, I mean, it's only day one, but first impressions, I love it. It didn't change the texture or shine. It didn't, no shine pop through. It's a matte foundation. It doesn't feel too drying. I have been blowing my nose a lot. So I'm missing foundation off my nose, <laughs> but I did reapply the sunscreen around my nose before we left. So I'm actually going to reapply with this before I go in because it has been two hours. We're going to go have fun at Target. Bye. Yeah, I'm going to get a toy back. New sunscreen day. <laughs> okay, this is another Timu purchase. Um, SPF 50, refreshing, refreshing sunscreen. Watery UV protection, Le Coup. I have to run to the doctor today. And I also need to film videos from my other channel. Let's see how this goes. Here we go. <laughs> that sounded disgusting. One. Oh, it's thick. Two. It's a thick boy. <laughs> it's not going anywhere. It's thick. It's kind of a whipped, a whipped texture. Look at that. Whipped. I don't know why I keep saying that word over and over. Oh, that's why. That's wide. <laughs> okay, let's rub it in. Let's rub it in. Just keep rubbing, just keep rubbing. Oh, uh, it's very white. Please turn clear. It has a clean, a clean scent from my childhood. That smells like something from my childhood. Oh, I'm having memories of sitting on the carpet in my bedroom, playing with something that smells exactly like this. Well, that's gonna bug me all day long. I'm gonna be trying to figure out what that scent was, <laughs> is. It's not very strong, but yes, it's a familiar childhood. How, rub in please, rub in. Rub in, rub in. This is not rubbing in. <laughs> nope, this is not rubbing in. Look at that. <laughs> Don't get this one. Don't get this one. I mean, they weren't joking. It says whitening on here. They weren't joking. This is whitening. This sucks. There's no way this is gonna dry clear. Look, 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 look. It's going, look. What am I gonna do? I'm gonna have to wash my face and start over. That's what I'm gonna have to do. You suck sunscreen. <laughs> you suck. It does have a pleasant cooling sensation, like fresh, cold mountain air on your face. So I wish this was like a face mask instead. All right, now it's probably a good time to tell you I've been trying out the Clinique Take the Day Off Cleansing Oil. You know, the Burt's Bees Cleansing Oil has been my favorite, it's very moisturizing. But I've been talking a lot about Clinique lately and noticing that I really love Clinique. So I've never tried this before and I've been using it for about a week now and I like it, I, I like it, I like it. It leaves a clean feeling on your face, not a stripped clean feeling, but a clean feeling. It doesn't feel moisturizing. So I don't think, I could be wrong, but I don't think this would be good for dry skin. People, but combination and oily. I love this, so I'm gonna take this off. And I've got my little fuzzy water soaking bracelets on. <laughs> New sunscreen day. <laughs> this one is matte finish, so I'm kind of excited to try it. I did put a moisturizer on first. Bay Tree Skin SPF 50, it says it's all 
mineral, but when I look at the ingredients, I only see titanium dioxide as the third ingredient. I don't see any zinc oxide, so I'm not sure if this is completely all mineral or if it's a hybrid. Let's try it out. Ooh, comes in a squeezy. One, okay, it's thick. Two, it's thick. Okay, it's like a whipped, a whipped texture. Hopefully it will be white. Um, is this fragrance free? It has a scent, but it's not very strong and I can't tell if it's just the scent of the ingredients or I don't think they added. It didn't say anything about parfum in it, parfum or whatever. I don't want to put this around my eyes though because I'm not sure. Is this going to rub in? At this point, it does not look like it's going to rub in. But I've been surprised before. Just keep rubbing. What, what is that? What is that? Oh, it's not rubbing. Look, what, what is this? There's no way to get a smooth application. Am I gonna have to wash my face again? I am. Y'all, these sunscreens are trash. Trash from Timu, trash. <sighs> Three hours later, insert SpongeBob SquarePants B-roll. I think I've got it rubbed in. Maybe I should have rubbed in a little bit at a time. I am gonna put a different sunscreen, I think, on my neck, on the back of my neck. I'm gonna let this dry down, we'll see. It did eventually rub in, but it took a lot of, you saw, you saw, you saw, I'll be back. It's been 10 minutes since I applied the sunscreen. Yes, it is matte, but I like a matte look. It's not too matte though, like it's not super matte. Like I still have a little bit of a, a gleam, a healthy gleam on my nose, on my forehead. So I'd say it's more of a natural matte, but because it is mattifying, I think that it will still have a white cast on darker skin tones because I've heard that some mattifying agents still cause a white cast. So, I think it looks nice. It does still feel slightly tacky, but you can tell that it's set down and formed the film, surprisingly. <laughs> so I think the kicker here is just how long it takes to rub in. I might next time just, you know, work it in slowly in small areas and that might be quicker than what I just did. <laughs> so maybe, Maybe don't slap it on your face like I just did. All right, I'm gonna put makeup on and I'm gonna go drop my son off at school and I will check back in with you in two hours. We'll see how it wears under makeup, but right now I like it on its own, so. It is an absolutely gorgeous day, but there's construction going on. <laughs> They're building like a new neighborhood. It's so loud. Why do I, 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 I wanna hate, I wanna hate on this sunscreen. It looks, look at this. Look how good it looks under my foundation. This is my regular Misha foundation. There's no crustiness. There's no, what is she trying to do? What are you doing? It looks fantastic. If you are looking for a matte sunscreen that's cheap and you don't mind, what are you doing? What are you doing? And you don't mind rubbing it in forever. <laughs> that's my, that's my one thing then this, this is, this is great. Now I can't tell you about sun protection. I haven't worn it like outside a lot, but I'm gonna be wearing this for the rest of the day. Today is a great day to wear sunscreen. It just might not be these, these ones.